Hello there, and uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the loop cut tool. It should be a real quick one. Uh, right here, I have this uh, object here. It's kind of a cube shape that I started to uh, round off on the back here, but I want to make it round on the top here, similar to this shape up here. And I'm going to, uh, so I need to uh, create some edges here that I can then. Uh, then squash down and 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 deform that shape. Uh, to make, create those all those edges, uh, I'm going to use the loop cut tool. And uh, so first of all, I'm going to change my view here so I can align this shape here with this object here. So I'm gonna hit one, and that brings it into to view there. And if you're wondering how I get the uh, the wireframe type view. Uh, you can just hit Z. I'm in uh, edit mode here, uh, and that can toggle back and forth. So I want to be in wireframe so I can see uh, kind of the outline of both objects there. Um, so back to the loop cut. Over, it's over here in tools, and you can just click on it, or you can see when the tooltip comes up, it says hit, uh, you can, the shortcut is control R. Uh, so I'm just going to use control R. Control R, and uh, now once once you have that up, now I can change the direction it's going to cut. But I want to cut in this direction, and I'm going to use my mouse wheel to, to increase the number of uh, cuts I want to make. And I'm going to try to get the same number of cuts as that object up front has. And uh, so I'll just go ahead and increase them, and I think that's about it and that should give me the same number of cuts and I should be able to match the shape of that forward object so I'll go into left click now and now I can move them but uh, I don't need to and if, if, you, uh, if I just right click it'll go ahead and center them okay and that's uh, you know what I messed up there so I'm gonna hit uh, command Z to undo that and I'm gonna do again control R and I needed one more cut. Uh, there we go. That's the right number now. I was one short. Left click, right click, and there it is. So so now I have all those edges, and and then uh, I can go ahead and I can push push them down to create that shape that I want. Uh, but that's another video, and uh, thanks for watching this one.